Hi, and thanks for stopping by to watch my video. Um, here we have our little germinator. Um, it's currently at 26.8 degrees. And um, so this is a great method for germinating chili seeds and other small things if you're a small to medium grower. Um, if you grow uh, lots and lots of chilies, I would recommend using an aquarium heater um, and piping around the warm water. But that's a story for another video. Let's take a look inside. And as you can see, we have chili seeds that have germinated in only six days. And now you're probably asking, wow, Ralph, how do I get my chili seeds to germinate in only six days? Well, we need three things. First of all, we need a tub. Uh, you can get these from Bunnings. I paid $5.50 for mine. Apparently they're now six dollars. The second thing we need is a heat mat. Now here's an up, a fresh one that I got delivered. Now I find the cheap ones are actually really quite effective. They tend to be lower power than the um, expensive ones, uh, but we don't need high power. And these have a temperature control, a lot of the more expensive ones don't. So this Cruel Miracle branded heat mat cost me a whopping $13, including delivery. Now a nice thing about this heat mat is it has a little temperature mark. And there'll be more on this in just a minute. And the third thing we need is a little thermocouple. Now these, if you buy a few of them uh, just on eBay or somewhere like that, are only two to three dollars each. I reckon I paid two dollars and ten cents for this one. Came in a five pack. Um, and you just stick them into the soil, um, and I will show you how to do that now. I'm a couple probe, and you stick it into the soil at the same depth that the seeds will be, because what we really care about is the temperature the seeds experience, and not the temperature of the bottom of the soil, or the top of the soil, or of the mat. So external temperature measurement is actually much better than a heat mat with a regulator on it. I'd ask, how do I get the temperature right? Well, all you do is you adjust the knob just a little bit here and there. I normally do it in the morning. Um, I turn it down a little bit and then I turn it up a little bit at night time um, because it's a little bit colder at night. Once you see it's germinate, they obviously need light. And if you set your germinator up outside, you can also use it as a propagator. Here's some English box. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any further questions, feel free to comment.